What's up, guys? NBA talk. I have to get something off my chest um, about the Sacramento Kings and the Marcus Cousins situation. The title says it all, pretty much. The Sacramento Kings culture is absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. First off, let me state out this for all the Sacramento Kings fans. I will first say that, yes, I am a hypocrite. I, I accept my hypocriteness seeing that my New York Knicks are in the same position as the Sacramento Kings in terms of the situation itself with the front court, front office, that being um, our front office are absolutely disgusting. And I guess this is why I'm actually talking about this even further. And I'm feeling a certain way about this. We're, we're in the same position. Our front office has completely screwed over the fans. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Our top players, DeMarcus Cousins, Carmelo Anthony, both both guys are being screwed over all over the place. DeMarcus being sent away, lied to, lied to, publicly lied to. Carmelo Anthony being criticized and dogged by our president, Phil Jackson. So you could say Sacramento Kings and New York Knicks fans were one in the same in the same position right now. It is absolutely disgusting how they're treating us. Um, so I accept the fact that, yes, I'm a hypocrite for talking about the Sacramento Kings. It's just that I feel like we're in the same position. We're like brothers right now in the same uh, problems. The way how they did this, did this to DeMarcus Cousins is absolutely disgusting. They lied to him. They lied to all of us. They said this publicly. It was reported that they were going not to. They were not to sign, um, trade, sorry, trade DeMarcus Cousins. They were not going to trade DeMarcus Cousins. They were going to sign him for 200 mil uh, this offseason. They lied to him in public. Um, had to hear it in the interview. Um, if you haven't seen it, there was an interview right after the All Star game. Uh, I believe an agent came to him, told him in his ear, he like whatever, uh, really whatever stuff like that, and then posted today. Uh, you have him emotional about leaving Sacramento, who he wanted to really invest. In this franchise, he wanted to invest in the city. He thought he had a future with this organization. It looks like they didn't care for that. It looked like they had other plans. Uh, and even they even botched this trade. They could, you sold DeMarcus Cousins for a little bit. That's crazy, man. You sold him for like a few pieces. And they also got rid of Matt Barnes as well. They waived him so they could move to get some people in to make room, basically. Um, they they did all this so they could change the culture of the Sacramento Kings. That's absolutely disgusting. And I'm ashamed of that organization right now for doing that to the Marcus Cousins. Yes, he has his problems, but it's not like you actually helped out or anything on it. Um, you didn't talk to him that much, it seems like. It seems like only like really the coach, well, not even the coach, man. That's crazy, man. That, I, I don't understand, man. That front office is just out of whack from the owner to the GM, to everyone involved. The same thing with the New York Knicks with Phil Jackson and James Dolan. It's just a fucked up situation, man. Fucked up. So that's pretty much it.
for me to say is it, absolutely disgusting what the Sacramento Kings fans have to go through, what the Marcus Cousins have to go through for this crap. At least he's now on a hopefully a better situation of uh, the New Orleans um, um, city. It's, I heard it's very, very good. I have never been there. I heard it's absolutely great, especially Mardi Gras. I hope I could get go there one day. Um, hopefully they could treat him better than they did with the Sacramento Kings. I'm pretty sure they will. I'm pretty sure they will. They took care of Anthony Davis. So that's it for me. Leave your comments below about the situation because I'm absolutely pissed off about it. I'm pissed off. So peace out.